up guys my name is Anson welcome to a brand new video um, I'm just going to kind of show you guys what I've been doing uh, so far with the summer I've been learning a lot of JavaScript and jQuery as the library for JavaScript and it's pretty cool um, but most importantly I'm trying to find new stuff to do so what I decided to do was I looked up upon web scraping because a friend of mine well not really a friend but more of like an acquaintance where I was just talking to was introducing to me how he made a bot that extracted data right and he used the cheerio.javascript library uh, not library I guess it's just a package I'm still new to node and uh, node.js and all these things so I'm still learning so please forgive me if um, I'm not getting the terms or the vocabulary correct Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what I've done so far. So this is my Discord chat, and this is the, uh, I'll show you the visual code. All right, so what I did was web scraping, right? Basically, it's kind of like, you can think of it as, you know, extracting or downloading data from an HTML file or from a website, right? And then uh, you're just using it in whatsoever way. So what I did was, okay, I decided to, um, for my Discord bot, since it's kind of boring just having, you know, commands and stuff, I'll show you a cool command. Say, um... I want the bot to say hello. My name, name is Anson Bot, and I love Discord. Right? That's just a simple demonstration. And if it has a, a question mark, it'll it'll trigger a different command. If it has a question mark, it'll kind of be like a shell. So you can you can kind of like a, a conscience a conscious conscience shell. Right? So you're kind of like asking the bot a question. So will I I ever make uh, will will I ever be a physicist? <laughs> Count on it because you got what it takes. Oh well, I guess I should change my major. Then. No, no, I'm just kidding. Computer science is where it's at for me, at least. All right, cool. But that's just uh, me showing off my bot. Let me show you what I actually want to show you guys. So I did some research. Well, kind of like watched the YouTube tutorial and uh, learned a little bit about uh, Cheerio.javascript. So what I did was okay. So I uh, first I created a Discord bot gave it some cool interactions and cool functions to do whatever I wanted to do but I want to do more I wanted to extract some data from a website and then have it display on the bot because you know maybe someone new to the discord server comes in and uh, you know let's say for example they don't know where to find a list of uh, data right in this case they don't know how to find a, a list of um, of CS courses I can just go ahead and just type in a command and it'll display all that uh, all that data, right? Rather than you know just going through a hassle and just finding through a website, and then maybe uh, print out a link onto the Discord chat showing where I got the data from, which is pretty cool. But you can do whatever you want. So what I did was okay. First of all, I installed Node and Discord, the Discord module, obviously, in order to use, in order to interact with the Discord API. Then I installed Request and Cheerio, which were both packages. If you want to do that, you just do npm install Request Cheerio, and they'll install both of them. Right, so the main the main thing that happens here is I was watching this YouTube tutorial and they were showing how you can you know web scrape data. They were doing a they were web scraping links off of Reddit, but um, I'll I'll actually link the I'll actually link the YouTube uh, video that I was watching because most of the stuff that I'll be telling you guys is what I learned from that YouTube tutorial. So over here is uh, I have a request function and it takes in the URL, it takes in a callback function, right? And then it, the callback function takes in an error, takes in a response, and takes in the body of the URL, right? So now what they did and what I uh, kind of followed through was it said, okay, if there's no error and the response status code is equal to 200, we're going to do all the magic, right? So if that's not the case, it's not going to do anything, but this means it's successfully loaded. So they created a variable, right? I wrote, okay, so variable dollar sign. It store it. What it stores is it stores the Cheerio. You load the entire body and store it into this variable dollar sign, right? But that's for later uses, though. But now what happens is okay. So here's what's actually happening. So I'm on this web page, right? Uh, what they did was they demonstrated how you can just inspect this. You can use this uh, magnifying glass and you can click through all these elements and it'll show you exactly where it is, right? So we see that all of these uh, all of these text like all this data is actually inside a paragraph right? and all these paragraphs are inside a class a div class right called text text dash box right so what that means is okay I'm gonna use a jQuery selector I'm going to find all of the paragraphs inside the text box class right and for each of them I'm going to 
give a function, right? I'm going to say, okay, variable URL. I should probably change my URLs. I mean, I should probably change my variable names. But for now, URL is just basically uh, the value of the text box of the paragraph's uh, text, right? Because I want to say, okay, this, which is the paragraph, dot text. I want to get the text of the paragraph, right? So I'm going to get the text of this, for example. And then it stores inside URL, and I'm going to push it. I'm going to say URLs push this zone into the array. So I basically stored it into an array, right? So that's where all the magic happens. So then I want it to print out to the Discord uh, chat. So what I did was I wrote a command. Well, basically upon a message, right? If the bot sees uh, the bot detects a message, right? It will just basically do some action, right? It's an event, right? So else if commands this. This is just don't worry about this for now. This basically just means, okay, command is courses, right? It goes up to my command is function, which is something that I also watch the tutorial as well, which makes very good, very great sense. So basically, if I type in courses, right, it'll run all this. But instead, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say message channel let's send. Rather than send it to the author, I'm going to send it to the channel just to demonstrate. Yeah, channel. Okay, cool. So now. There was actually some trouble. I had to debug this a little bit. The first instance that I, the first the first trouble that I had was um, it was trying to print out the entire thing at the same time, which was not going to happen because first of all, Discord has a max of 2,000 words per message, so it's not going to print out anything greater than 2,000. The second thing that was happening was it was printing out it was printing out the data, right? It was printing out stuff, but it was kind of skipping. I'll actually show you. So notice how I think right over here. Let me see. Okay, so notice how once we get to 416, right? Notice how over here, right? F after CSI 416, it's CSI 416, it goes down to 432. So it skips 417, 14, 421, 422, 424, 426, 430, 431, but then it goes back to 432. Right, and I had to figure out what exactly was going on. And the first thing I did was, okay, I counted how many, uh, I counted how many of these courses there were, and there were 52, right? But I noticed that uh, I used the console to figure out how many uh, subscripts there were, and there were 39. Well, the array length, which is the amount of elements are in the array, right? And there were 39. So I went over here and I counted, and there was actually 39. And I found that one of these uh, paragraphs, right? One of these paragraphs. Um, one of these paragraphs contain not only just one course, but multiple courses, for example, this one. So I think right over here, starting from 487, right? From 487 all the way up to, I think, for, uh, 497, right? Which actually, that wasn't even the problem, because I think all of these, uh, all of this was less than 2,000 words. There was actually another, uh, but yeah, basically just know that one of these paragraphs uh, were stored into the array, and the array had over 2,000 lines, and it wasn't being able to, it wasn't able to send to the Discord, it wasn't able to be pushed through to the Discord bot, so that's why. So what I did was, okay, I fixed that up a little bit, inefficiently, but it still works. Um, what I did was, okay, let me just jump to the present, because this is annoying. Okay, so what I did was, okay, I said, okay, so if, well, first of all, I had to print out the amount of console, I had to print out the length of each subscript, uh, right, so and I got all of the I got the lengths, right? So the amount of words that are in each uh, subscript, right? Or actually the amount of uh, yeah, the amount of characters I'd say. So you can notice, you can see that uh, some subscripts had over two thousand, right? Luckily we didn't have more than that. If there was more than that, I would have to split into, I would have to do more work, but it's fine. But since uh, it was less than four thousand, which is good, right? But you can see that these two subscripts over here were greater than two thousand. So what I did was, okay, I said, if uh, the subscript, uh, URL's subscript, right, sub i, right, since it's iterated upon a for loop, right, this is going to change, right, this is, uh, this isn't constant, right, so, like, let's say, for example, if sub 0, if URL's sub 0, right, let's say i is equal to 0, so that means URL's sub 0 length, dot length is greater than 2,000, right, well, that's not the case, so we're going to skip this entire thing, and we're going to just print it out, right, but let's say, for example, get to a point where it is greater than 2,000, right? Where we have like so much text that we kind of we just can't send it to the Discord, right? So what we do is, okay, I say, okay, I create a variable called the first half is equal to URL sub i, right? The subscript at that at the subscript I, the uh, the ith subscript, right? Dot substring. We're gonna split this up from zero to 1,000 and 1,999. 
right? Store all these, uh, store all this into the first half variable, then store second half, right, from 199. Well, we're going to store the second half from 199 to URL sub i length, which is the, which is going to basically represent the last uh, sub, the last, uh, the last element or character, right? Or where the, or like, it's like basically the length of it, right? We store that into second half, and then there's not much that we should do with it, so we just print it out. Right, and that's pretty straightforward, really, and this only happens twice because, like I said, there's only two instances where the array is greater, the array uh, subscript length is greater than 2,000. But enough talking. Let me show you exactly what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and Control C, run my bot. Right, you can see. Okay, don't worry about these things. That was just used for debugging. Let me go ahead and print out courses. So now. You can see that uh, there's some errors over here. I'm gonna have to figure out what this ha what's happening, but the bot is running smoothly. It's doing what it's supposed to do. It's printing out all of the computer science courses, right? And it's not gonna skip any of them because we handled that earlier, right? And I'm just gonna have you guys watch this. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's kind of slow. Uh, I'm gonna try to work on this a little bit more um, because web scraping is actually a pretty cool thing. And uh, yeah, we're almost there. You can see there's kind of like a little bit error over here because we kind of, uh, well, not error, but the formatting is a little bit off over here. Or is, I don't know, or maybe it was just some, it was just a little bit delayed. So yeah, and then it prints out all of this and then we're finally done printing out and then I have a prompt saying, okay, all the courses for you, Albany's, all the courses for Albany's CS undergrad curriculum have been displayed. And then we're done. And that's pretty much it with this bot. I mean, this is just a, pretty uh pretty cool way how you can scrape uh data from a website um, i'm pretty sure there's many more ways that you can you uh there's many more things that you could do with web scraping i just decided to use web scraping to get all the data from a particular web page and then print them out onto the discord server and i felt like this was pretty cool so i did this to share with you guys so if you guys like this video that's great hopefully you guys will look forward to my other videos and i will see you guys later peace